Hey, Falcon fans, I'm Thomas Mond. Welcome to Atlanta Falcons today. We're going to go game by game and predict the entire schedule, record predictions and everything in our Atlanta Falcons today video. First, though, give me your official Falcons record prediction down below right now in the comments section. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling bad? Are you like me, kind of mediocre? Give me your thoughts down below right now. All right, as we mentioned, we're going to go game by game, week by week, and break down my thoughts on wins versus losses, which ones they're going to win, which ones they're going to lose, starting with week one. Uh, I've talked about it all week. I think Philadelphia's going to win this football game. I know there are a lot of Falcon fans that are very confident in the uh, Falcons taking on Jalen Hurts and rookie head coach Nick Sirianni. I think the Eagles' defensive line and Falcons' offensive line uh, are the big story here. The Eagles are going to get a bunch of sacks. I think Atlanta loses their opener. They've struggled a lot in openers the past couple of years, and Philadelphia's great in season openers. Give me the Eagles. Uh, in that one, Falcons are going to be 0-1. Bucks here in Week 2. I don't know how you pick the Falcons in this one on the road. I mean, listen, if they pull out a win, fantastic. We're not going to complain here on the channel, but I think the Falcons are going to start 0-2 as the Bucs are going to be a tough matchup. I don't see how they're going to beat the Bucs at all this year. Tampa, Tampa Bay is going to win a lot of football games. They're the best team in the division, and we can all, I think, agree with that. Uh, week three is the Giants. That's their first win. On the road, Daniel Jones. I'm not a big believer in the Giants being good this year. Saquon Barkley coming back from injury. I think the Giants' offense is not bad. I think defensively, they still have holes in the secondary. I'm sure not sure about their pass rush. I'm going to get the Falcons their first win of the year here in week three. Put them at one and two. Okay, we're going to keep going again. Pin comment down below. Predict the Falcons' record. I have them at one and two so far, but I want your total record prediction at the pin comment down below right now in the comment section. You'll see mine, obviously, coming up in just a couple of minutes. Week four is Washington at home at uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I, I think the defense is going to be too much here. I mean, I'm just looking at pass rushers and great defensive lines. They're the ones that have success against Atlanta's, against Atlanta's very weak offensive line. Give me the Washington football team in this one, meaning the Falcons are off to a rough start here, currently sitting uh, at one and three. Week five, you take on the New York Jets. That should be not an easy win, but I think the Jets should be pretty decent this year. I mean, not they're not going to be a, a playoff team, but like six or seven wins for the Jets is very, very likely. Give me uh, the Falcons in that one to put them there at two and three, meaning they're not bad through five games. You can remember the past couple of years, the Falcons have been terrible the first couple of games. I think two and three with a couple of tough matchups against very good defenses, Eagles, Bucks, and of course, Washington is not a bad start overall for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channels. We keep going here. We have a mailbag video coming up in the next couple of days, and all of our subscribers can get in on the mailbag video by going down below and uh, typing the hashtag Falcons and then asking any question that you possibly want. So make sure you guys are subscribed, and that way you guys can go ahead and be alerted on all the latest videos that are upcoming as we are less than four days away from the start of the 2021 NFL season for our Falcons. Week six is a bye. Obviously, no matchup there, so they roll into week seven coming off of the bye, and I think they're going to have some success against a Dolphins team that might be good defensively, but I, I, I'm out on two. I think they're going to have two of problems by this point in the year. Give me Atlanta, get back to 500. They're going to sit there at three and three. I also am similar with another home game uh, against the Panthers. I think Sam Darnold's not going to be that bad, but I do think that the Atlanta Falcons at this point will figure things out defensively. Hopefully, the pass Rush has come on. Give me a win at home. It's going to be a close one against the Carolina Panthers to go to four and three. And they're, of course, their first win in the division. All right, if we're going to get into week nine, what do you guys think is the hardest opponent for the Falcons this year? I mean, I think it's the Bucs. The Bucs are a are just a brutal opponent. I, I, now, there's some other teams on this, on this list we can throw out here uh, in just a couple of minutes. But give me your thoughts on the hardest opponent for the Atlanta Falcons this season by going down below right now in the comments section and giving me your thoughts. Week 9, you take on the Saints on the road. I'm out on the Saints being good this year. Like I don't think the, I think the Saints are going to have a very off year and will end up drafting a quarterback in the draft in 2022. Like I mean, Jameis might be better than he was in Tampa, but I think the roster in general, especially with Michael Thomas being out, is not necessarily a... A, a, a 10-win football team, a 12-win football team. Like, they were the perennial double-digit win football team powerhouse uh, at the Superdome. I'm out on them being that, 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 that way this year. I think the Falcons are starting to go on a little roll here. Give me uh, another win in Week 9. That means it's three in a row to go to 5-3. and three. Dallas is a tough one to predict here in Week 10. I think Dallas is... It's just, it's just they're, they're, they're a tricky team, right? Because in one hand, Dak Prescott's back. They could have a really high-flying offense. On the, on the other hand, they have some offensive line, you know, age and issues with Zach Martin. He's going to come back by this point, but you get my point. And defensively, I don't know how they stop anybody on, on the backside. I think their secondary is going to struggle mightily. I'm shocked they did not make more moves during the offseason. And so I'm going to go ahead and give the Falcons a, 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 a loss here, though, because, again, the pass rush. And the pass rush is the problem that I have with a lot of these football teams. Some teams have a really good pass rush. I don't see how the Falcons are going to go ahead and be able to hold up. I'll give the Cowboys the win here, but I think it's going to be very, very close. And with that being said, the win streak is snapped. They won three in a row. They lose that one. They go to five and four. 
Okay, we move on here to uh, the Patriots on Thursday night football, and that one's going to be tough, okay? You know, listen, here's the deal. I'm, I, I think the Falcons can win football games this year, but I also think that there are some good football teams out there on the scheduling. Like I said, Dallas. I think the Patriots are another good example. You would like to, to play the Patriots early on in the year, the way you get early on in the year Mac Jones. By week 11, you think Mac Jones has figured things out? I think he has, and that defense gets a lot of their starters back who just didn't play last year due to COVID. I will take the Patriots in that one, meaning we're back down to 500. A little bit of a losing streak streak here, but 500 still through the first 12 weeks, sorry, 11 weeks of the NFL season is really, in my opinion, not that bad. Okay, week 12 is obviously the Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Jaguars are going to be interesting. They're going to be very dramatic with the whole Urban Meyer situation, but that offensive line is even worse than our offensive line. Give me Atlanta to win that one on the road, a short trip down there to Jacksonville. I like Trevor Lawrence. I like some of their pieces. I think Travis Etienne will be healthy by this point, but I think the Falcons, again, are good enough to go and beat the Jaguars. Put me then uh, there at 6-5. and five. That means there is a, 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 a six-game stretch remaining where the Falcons sitting at 6-5 and five have got to start winning some football games in order to have a shot at making the postseason. We'll see if they do here in my total prediction in just one second. And first, though, quick shout out to our friends at BetUS as we're getting up ready to essentially get ready for week one. Your chance to bet on the Falcons and plenty of other action in the National Football League is here. And there's a great promo going on right now. Chatsports.com forward slash bet Falcons uh, is the link. And the promo code is Falcons125 to get 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. Literally, whenever you put your first $100 down, use our promo code Falcons125. You get $225 bucks to go ahead, essentially, because it turns into you know, 125 25%, 225 bucks to go ahead and bet on whatever you want. My bets of the week, as I said, the Falcons are losing their game against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles plus three, at least to even cover. I think they're take, I'm going to take the Eagles outright in this one, as I said earlier. But uh, that to me is pretty much a lock. I would bet that one. The Jets are going to cover against the Panthers. Plus five and a half for the Panthers at home. Like, I know the Jets are a, a brand new football team, but Zach Wilson looked pretty darn good in the preseason. I'll take the Jets to cover. And then I think the Browns, I mean, six and a half versus the Chiefs right now is a crazy number for week one, where the Browns almost beat them at Arrowhead and one of the favorites in the uh, AFC North. Give me the Browns to go ahead and cover in this one, plus six and a half. They might even win this football game. So those are my three bets of the week. Eagles over Falcons, uh, Jets to cover, and then Browns, six and a half to cover as well against the Chiefs. Again, chatsports.com forward slash bet Falcons. That promo code is Falcons125. Okay, we go into week 13. Bucks. You know, it's ever since been stadium. It's gonna be a big game, probably a sellout crowd as well. But I just don't see the Falcons beating the Bucks this year. I really don't talk about pass rushes. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Shaq Barrett, they're fantastic. JPP and Dominican Sue, they're gonna be great this year. Uh, excuse me, six and a half. Uh, six and six is now the immediate record after they lose to the Bucks. I think that they will split the season series with the Carolina Panthers. I think Carolina has something figured out by week 14. I'm a Baylor guy, and so I'm a little bit, you know, I, I like Matt Rule. What can I say? I think him with Joe Brady, obviously, in year two is going to be uh, a, a decent year. I think Atlanta has a better overall record than Carolina, but I think Carolina wins this one on the road, so they split the series on the home and the away. Uh, the 49ers, by week 15, Trey Lance is high flying. He'll be the starter at this point in the year. I think the Falcons are on a little skid, and they go down to six and eight after a loss to the San Francisco 49ers because, again, the pass rush and the defense. Are you getting a trend here? Hopefully, I'm wrong. I'm not, I'm not hoping that Falcons are losing these football games, but I just think that right now, with the way that the team is currently set up, that the teams that they play against that have very good front fours are going to have a really good time beating, an easy time beating the Falcons. I'll take the 49ers, and they'll be 6-8 and eight for the Falcons uh, heading into the final three-game stretch of the season. Before we go to finish here, NFC champs. Who do you guys have winning in the division? Do you think it's going to be the Bucks Type beat them all over Bucks. Do you think it's the Falcons? Type F them all over Falcons. Do you think it's the Saints? Type S them all over Saints. Do you think it's the Panthers? Type P them all over Panthers. I'm going to pick the Bucks here. I know it's a Falcons channel, but you want me to be honest. Right? I'm going to pick the Bucks to win the division. I think Atlanta can be right in the mix for two or three in the division, depending on what happens in these final couple of games based on my record prediction. Give me your thoughts, though, down below right now. Week 16 is Lions. I think the Lions might be the worst team in football this year. That's an easy win for the Atlanta Falcons and a great, uh, I would say, final game before the last two, which are tough, right? I don't know how you win at Buffalo Week 17 unless they've already locked up their division and are resting people, but it's just it's too early, right? Week 17 versus Week 18 this year. I'll take the Bills in that one to go ahead and win. That means it's 7-9, and nine, and you head into the home matchup against the Saints. If they win, they become 8-9. and nine. And honestly, 8-9 and nine might be enough to go ahead and make the postseason. The Bears made it in last year at 8-8. Eight and eight. So this can be for the seventh seed in the wild card or can be, you know, just missing the wild card. I think they do beat the Saints, though, in a must-win football game uh, and finish up at 8-8. Nine. So there you go. Let's run through this year really quickly again. I think Philadelphia wins week one. The Bucks win week two. I think that you start to get your first win against the Giants because the Giants defense to me is not as uh, as good as some people are thinking it is. Washington's front four is too good and they're in week four. Falcons are going to start one and three. I think you can beat the Jets. I think you can beat the Panthers. I think you can beat the uh, the Dolphins. Sorry, mix those up. Dolphins, then Panthers. Going a little run there. And then, of course, uh, even beat the Saints on the road. So, yeah, I'm not high on the Saints this year. I think they sweep the Saints uh, in general. 
Lose to the Cowboys Week 10, lose to the Patriots in Week 11, beat the Jaguars in Week 12. I think you lose to the Bucks in Week 13, lose to the Panthers now, split that season series in Week 14. You beat San Francisco, and then of course you beat you, you beat or sorry you lose to San Francisco, you beat the Lions, you lose to the Bills, and then beat the Saints to finish up at eight and nine. So there's my record prediction. It's eight and nine. Right? And I think that that's a pretty safe bet right now for the Atlanta Falcons. Could it be 10? Sure. A couple games here, you know, you, the ball rolls one way, you win. A couple of games here, you go down to seven wins. You know, who knows? So 8-9 is my prediction uh, there for the entire Falcons season schedule. Ultimate Amber Day here on Atlanta Falcons today. I'm your host, Thomas Mott. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. So we again have the mailbag video coming up the next couple of days, as well as plenty more content here on the channel. So make sure you guys go down below and are subscribed. Uh, again, for the Falcons today, I'm, I'm Thomas Mott signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.